Gee, I'm a tree. Hello and welcome back. This is Circle Segments Lesson Number Five: Additional Theorems Involving Circles. And basically, these are circle proofs. Ah, uh, we're gonna have so much fun with these. Basically, I'm gonna go over the theorems that you're gonna be able to use in a triangle proof that involves a circle. So let's get going. First thing, a radius in a circle. Now you should remember that a radii is a line that goes from the center point to the edge, and it's always congruent. So in this case, OB and OC, since they're both radii, are going to be congruent to each other. So the reason you can use in this in the proof is that if circle, then radii are congruent. Okay, let's take a look at another theorem involving inscribed angles. Um, inscribed angles are the angles on the edge of the circle. So A and C, they're both intercepting the same arc. Angle A is intercepting DB, as you can see. And in blue, I'm going to do angle C here is intercepting arc DB. Now, if we're careful about this, we know that these two are both inscribed. They're both half of the same arc, so therefore they're congruent. So what we can say is that if the circle then inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. Using this reason, we can say that angle A and angle C are congruent to each other. Okay? Now, in this also the same example, angle B and angle D are going to be congruent because of the same reason. They're both intercepting arc AC. So they're both going to be half of whatever AC is. So let's take a look at two congruent chords. Now, if they have two congruent chords, or sorry, rather, in this case, when we're talking about triangle proofs, you're really going to be looking at this, um, at the arcs. Um, you're going to be given some information. Important information is that arc AD is going to be congruent to arc BC. If you're given that information, then I know that the chords that intercept those arcs are congruent as well. The reason that we can say in a proof is that if circle, then two chords that intercept congruent arcs are congruent. Okay, now let's take a look at another theorem, parallel chords. Now this one's going to be one of those things where you have to use the parallel lines to come up with some information, and then you're going to use that information to prove two angles or two sides are congruent. Let's take a look at parallel chords. In this case, a, B, and C, D, they're both parallel to each other. If you remember correctly, the arcs that are opposite and a lane are going to be congruent. And that's basically what our theorem says. So, in the two-column proof, you can say those two arcs are congruent because if circle, then two parallel chords create two congruent arcs. Okay, now let's take a look at the last one. Oh, sorry, not the last one, the last one on this page. It's talking about two tangents. Now, two externally intersecting tangents to the point of tangency are congruent in a circle. So what we can say, if can circle, then tangents are congruent to each other. I'm not talking, and make sure you understand that this is talking about when it's intersect, the point of intersection to the point of tangency. So BE is going to be congruent to EC. Okay, let's take a look at our last one, a radius and a tangent. This is new for us, a radius and a tangent. Um, some awesome stuff happens when you have a radius and a tangent. No matter where, if you have a radius and then you have a tangent, as long as those are both true, then I know that they create a right angle. So what we can say is if circle, then radius and tangent create a right angle. So I can say in this case, if I'm told that OB is a radius and AB is a tangent at point B, then I can say that this angle AOB, AB, oh sorry, OA, OBA is a right angle because if circle, then radius and tangent create a right angle. Okay, that's it for today. This is a basic theorem that you have for circle proofs. Um, basically, there may be some more, but these are sort of the major ones that we need to focus on. Thanks. Have a great day. Later. Bye.